Hello, in this Pixelflux video tutorial, I'll show you how to create this procedural reptile skin surface texture. For this project, we'll use the Mesh Cells node to create a texture with scales of variable size. To control the size of the scales, we'll create an image from the Mesh Geometry and blur it with a Mesh filter. To color the cells, we'll use two 3D perlin textures that will be mixed using a mask painted in Blender. The Mesh Cells node creates scales with a constant color from this image. Then we'll add more detail to finish the albedo texture. From the Mesh Cells geometry, we'll create the roughness texture. And we'll use the Mesh Cells height and geometry to create the normal map texture. This low poly lizard was modeled by Rena CRDR and was downloaded from Sketchfab. In Blender, I assigned four materials to the lizard head. One for the small scales one for the medium scales, one for the large scales, one for the eyes. Then I unwrapped the UV mesh. And I painted this stripes image with the texture painting tools. And exported the mesh object as an OBJ file. In Pixelflux, add a scene and import the OBJ file. Add a mesh UV render node to identify the materials. Set the size to 128 by 128. Add a scene textures node to display the materials. Add a constant value zero image for metalness. In the UV Mesh Render node, set the Material Index for the existing group. These are the eyes. Add a new group and set Index to 2. These are the large scales. Add a new group and set the Index to 3. Set Color to Gray. These are the medium scales. Add a new group and set Index to 4. Set color to black. These are the small scales. Add a mesh filter node. Set scene and object. Add a resize node. Set the size to 2048 by 2048. Let's display the UV mesh. Add a mesh cells node. Connect it to Albedo. Set the frame size. Set the scene and object. Connect the size image. Set the size of the cells to 5 and 20. Let's start with the normal map texture. The height output returns an image with a transition from the center to the border of the cell. Add a mesh to normal node. Connect height. Set scene and object. And connect the output to the normal input of the scene textures node. Tweak the value of the multiplier attribute to increase the bump effect. Notice how the scales around the eyes and nose are small, and the scales around the mouth and on the eyebrows are large. The geometry node returns an image with the border and center of the cells. Use this image to add the cracks between the scales. With a value condition node set to different than minimum, we can remove the cell centers. Add a mesh to normal node. Set the scene and object. And set the multiplier. Mix these two normal maps using a perturbate normal node. Use a Mesh Filter node to soften the normals. Let's start working on the albedo texture. Add a Reader node. Load the Stripes image. In the 3D viewport settings, set the Debug shader to display. This sets the image in the main viewport as the texture of the 3D model. 
The stripes image will be used as a mask for two procedural textures that provide the main albedo colors. A render 3D texture node. Set the size. A perlin texture node. In the render 3D texture node, set the scale of the texture. In the perlin texture node, set the colors. and set the range low and high values. Duplicate these two nodes. Change the seed to get a different texture. Add a blend node and connect the stripes as a mask. Connect the procedural 3D texture to the color input of the mesh cells node. This colors each cell with a color at the center of the cell in the color image. Add a mesh filter node to soften this image. And add a blend node to mix these two images. Connect this output to albedo. Turn off the debug shading in the 3D viewport to see the PBR shading. Let's add small spots to the albedo texture. Duplicate the perlin and render 3D texture nodes with the Shift key. The render 3D texture set scale to 0.01 to make the spots smaller than the cells. In the perlin texture node, set the color A to black transparent. Set the color B to a dark orange. Set the range low and high to make sharp spots. Add a blend node to mix the cells output with the spots. To break the continuity of the spots between scales, we can use the translate and rotate inputs of the render 3D texture node to move the 3D texture to a different direction on each cell. Connect the mesh cells output to a translate input of the render 3D texture node. In the translate attribute, set the second value to 100. This moves the texture on each scale a value between 0 and 100 proportional to the value of each cell. Connect the mesh cells rotate output to the rotate input of the render 3D texture node. Set all rotate attributes to 0 and 90. This rotates the texture on each cell. As you can see, each cell has its own spots, which are not continuous to the spots of the next cell. Reduce the opacity. Now add the border of the cells to the albedo texture. Add a mesh filter to the value condition output. Set filter to swap. This filter swaps pixels with neighbors. Add a relaxed mesh filter. Set iterations to 2. Add a blend node on the albedo connection. And connect the cell borders image. The red title on the node means that there is an error. Errors are reported to the errors window. Blending images must be of the same color type. The albedo image is RGBA. The borders image is value. To fix the error, add a 2 RGBA node. Set mode to multiply. Set the blend opacity. The cell borders image can be used for the roughness texture. Add a curves node. Increase the roughness of the borders. Decrease the roughness of the scales. Connect this image as the roughness texture. For the texture of the eyes, you can use a UV image render node. Set the size. Set the material index to 1. Add a blend node on the albedo texture connection. And connect the eyes image. For the eyes roughness texture, we need a white foreground. Add a blend node. 
set the background to white. Connect the ice image as the foreground. Add a value multiply node. Connect the roughness image to the value multiply node. Connect the value multiply image to the scene roughness texture. To remove the scales from the eyes in the normal map texture, add a constant on node. Set the size. Set format to normal. Add a blend node. Connect the flat on normal image to the background. Connect the mesh filter image to the foreground. Connect the eyes as mask. This removes the scales from the eyes in the normal map image. Connect it as the same normal map texture. To add another level of detail to the albedo texture, we can use the outlines of the painted stripes. Add a mesh to normal node. Set the multiplier. To extract the outlines, use a normal angle node. And use a curves node to invert the image and increase the contrast. Add a mesh filter node. Set it to swap. Add a mesh filter node. Set the swap iterations to 3. Set the relax iterations to 2. Add a 2RGBA node. Add a blend node in the albedo texture connection. Connect the stripes outline. Set mode to multiply. Reduce the opacity. This finalizes the albedo texture. Let's review very fast the main nodes that compose the reptile skin texture. This is how you can use Pixaflux to create a procedural reptile skin surface texture. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Discord, Twitter and Instagram.